My siblings and I are the um, perfect average of mom and dad. I think if you uh, sample any one or two of us uh, uh, by ourselves, there might be some missing pieces, but if you put us all together, we actually do okay. Mary is a leader, inviting, thoughtful person. Kate has mom's spirituality. Greg is a challenge maker and a challenge taker. Mark is that social guy that everybody's going to say hi to because he's going to chase you down and make you say hi to him. Paul is a thoughtful, considerate, careful planner. Tim is as well. Uh, with a, a big dose of humor in there too. Anne is just every bit of my mother's sweetness, but she's also got dad's aggressiveness in there. And then Scott is everyone's baby. Scott's the youngest, he's everybody's baby, and he's got that youthful humor. And uh, I guess I'm good to get you where you wanna be when you wanna be there. If you want a driver with grit, that's me. I see so much of mom and dad in all of my siblings, the hard work, um, the compassion, the care, the warmth. They're very generous giving family. They reminded me so much of Mr. Thompson because they're all so involved, not just in their family life, but in their spiritual life and in their business life. And just about everything they do uh, is a reflection on Byron, from their banking business to their involvement in the church, to their involvement in the local communities, uh, whichever community that may be, here to Baltimore. Those values are born around that kitchen table. Mom never met a stranger. This is a true story. Uh, met someone in an elevator, and by the time they got to their destination, um, they were exchanging Christmas cards. I mean, they, <laughs> so it was nice to be in a home where you felt like, hey, other people are good, and assume the best. When you talk about mom and dad's legacy, one word comes to mind, and that's faith. I mean, they really spent their life loving and serving the people closest to them and beyond. The children absorbed this. They've been great supporters of not only our parishes, but our Catholic schools and tr trying to create opportunities for others to be able to take advantage of Catholic education. I think the family wants for Benedictine what Byron and Jeannie would have wanted for Benedictine for all the young men and women there. And that is to create a culture of faith and be thoughtful, caring, conscientious people and unapologetically Catholic. I'm the first one of the grandchildren to go to Benedictine. I was thinking, who's a good decision maker? And Byron is a great decision maker, so he made the choice to go to St. Benedict's College. It's obviously something special about this place. I know Mr. Thompson and Jeannie are smiling broadly <laughs> from up above. Congratulations to all the Thompson family and thank you for all that you do for our church and for our community or a better community, we're a better church because of your involvement. Who more deserving than the Thompson family? Pray that the Lord will continue to bless your family and the great heritage that's been given to you may continue to be passed from generation to generation.